Hey guys, this is Keiko2000. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, in English class at my school, uh, we wrote these essays called I Believe. Uh, I'm Keiko2000, like I said at the beginning. This will be uploaded on Keiko2000 and Keiko Vlogs. Um, but basically, yeah, we wrote these statements. It had to be 500 to 600 words. I think I had 588. These are the two papers that I have, and I promised you guys that before I read it to my class, I would read it to you. So the, today was the first presenting day. We only got through like three people, so I haven't gone yet. And I'm going to read it to you guys so that I can actually practice in case I go tomorrow. So let's do this. All right. Time doesn't wait for you. And sorry if I don't make much eye contact because um, I have to look down. My life isn't perfect, nor is it bad. For me, my life is how it's supposed to be. Yes, I get sad and angry, but I am mainly happy. I have the gift to of I have the gift of being able to intone my feelings inside of me and focus on the good aspects of life. I believe that we should cherish the moments we have now because we never get them back. When I was two, and my brother was seven, my mom took us to the pool. When we got there, she put me in a tube, and my brother started to play around and push me. But then, he pushed me too hard. I fell into the water, and since I was two, I didn't know how to hold my breath. Though for some reason, that we believed was gone, I held my breath anyway. I still remember the feeling of the water. And I remember smiling as I lay wondering what happened. Before my mother found me, a minute later. The feel of the cool, smooth water was unexplainable and unexpected. From that day on, I've loved the water, but I can't hold my breath longer than 30 seconds. When, when I was little, I could hold my breath for a minute. The reason why I told you the story is because if I would have drowned, I wouldn't have had the life I have now. I'm happy that God gave me the power of holding my breath. Because he let me live and love my family. I will always cherish the moments I have, to the very end. I'm the type of person that gets paranoid very easily, so I'm always scared about death. When I die, will I warp from existence and see nothing? Will I be judged before going to heaven? What if when I'm older I stop believing in God? Will I burn in hell forever? Will I ever get to see my family again? Like I said before, I'm good at hiding my feelings and emotions, so I bury these worries and thoughts. I used to only dwell on these issues, and I would hide in my room or just play video games and read with my door shut off, shut and or lights off. By doing this, I started to drift away from my family and friends. And I will always wonder what could have happened if I took the time to be with my family. Every day, I'm away from the ones I love. I worry. But I make the best of what I have and try not to waste any more time than I already did. I try to think of new ideas and try to find ways to change the world. This goes with how I believe that the sky is no longer the limit. And anyone can do anything they imagine. I used to dream of having the power of bending water and turning into a line. In fact, in kindergarten, I used to pretend to be a line. I would run around and chase after people and roar. Then I dreamed of making my own business like my parents and be an actor or a comedian. My brother and I would play a game where I was called Agent K and he would be the villain. This was my way of showing that I wanted to be good in the world and that the sky would no longer be the barrier for me. That was what I believe, guys. That's my essay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you think about um, cherishing the moments that you have now. So this isn't my normal type of video, but I promised you uh, sprinkles out there that I would show you guys firsthand. No one else has heard this speech except you guys. So I love y'all. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you believe in this. I believe too. All right. I love y'all. Bye.